Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'll be making a meatloaf potato salad dinner. <laughs> so let's get started. So to this bowl here, I have some mayo. I'm going to add some sour cream to that. Some sweet dill relish down in there. All these ingredients depend on how much you like them in your salad, but I'm still going to put a ingredient list in my description box. I'm going to go in here with some grainy Dijon mustard. Use the mustard you prefer. Some black pepper. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to mix this up really, really well, and then we're going to toss the salad together. Okay, so I have my potatoes nice and boiled up. To my potatoes, I'm going to add peppers, scallions, chopped up really small that I'm going to put down in here. I use red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some scallions. I'm now going to toss in my eggs. <laughs> I just rope chopped my eggs. <laughs> I'm going to toss this together and then we're going to add the dressing on top. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my dressing down in here. Um, oh, looks good already. I'm going to toss this gently and put it in the refrigerator so it can chill for at least three to four hours. And then I'm going to work on the meatloaf. And this is what it looks like once I tossed everything together, nice and colorful. The, veg the vegetables are nice and crisp. Now I'm going to put them in, in the refrigerator so it could cool down. And now we're going to move on. Okay, so I have my ground beef in my bowl right here with lots and lots of chopped garlic. To this, I'm going to add some sautéed peppers and onions that I just sliced up and sautéed in a skillet with some oil, salt, and pepper. Then to this, I'm going to add some black pepper in here, some salt, shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I'm also going to add a some sesame oil. Don't ask me why, just do it. <laughs> and you can find this in the Asian store or the Asian aisle in your big supermarket. I'm also gonna go in here with some chili sauce, some sweet chili sauce. You can use your favorite brand or this is the same exact one from my last video. I'll be sure to put that in the description box. And then I'm gonna add my eggs down in here. Am I leaving anything else out? Yep some all-purpose seasoning mix this up and then you're going to form your meatloaf and we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven until it's cooked through okay so in my little ramekin here i already have some brown sugar some ketchup and a little bit more of my sesame oil now i'm going to add some more of the chili the sweet chili sauce and some black pepper mix this up really really well and then we're going to pour this entire thing over the meatloaf all right so this is my meatloaf after 30 minutes i'm just going to take that mixture we made earlier and pour it right over the top just like that i'm going to take my little brush and just spread it out and I'm going to pop this back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes just so it can brown up on top and the sauce could set in. And I'm going to plate it up and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, so I wasn't going to show how I made my green beans today because I have tons and tons of green bean recipes on my channel. But I already sauteed some green beans in some butter, salt, and pepper. To this, I'm going to add jalapenos, green onions, and... Um, Time, <laughs> fresh time, and I'm gonna stir this up and keep sauteing it for another five to seven minutes until it's nice and tender, and then I'm gonna plate it up. So, this is what the meatloaf looks like yum, yum, yum. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I made some um, beans right here, and my string beans that I showed you guys earlier my potato salad right there looking nice and pretty and this is my meatloaf that's nice and juicy the top is nice and caramelized so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and this meatloaf um video and i'll see you guys next time on my next video okay guys bye